everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to another speed build. I have not built anything in so long. I've been doing so many other kinds of videos. It has been a good while but we are back and today we are building a cathedral or a wedding church, whatever you want to call it. I had so much fun building this actually and I think it turned out really freaking epic. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up because that does help me out a lot because I recently had to take some breaks from YouTube uh, due to my wrist injuries and I haven't been able to film or record that much so if you guys do enjoy the videos make sure to like them and subscribe but yeah we're back with another build I wasn't sure I could build anything anymore but I've been wanting to build a church for the longest time it's been on my list of like builds I want to do and I figured I don't really want to do like a family house right now so I want to build a community lot and I was like oh yeah let's build a church so I want to say I'm not religious I don't go to church so this is all just inspired by things I saw online and just I wanted to do this for fun I wanted to see if I could actually recreate some kind of a cathedral in the sims and I would like to say that I did so very very well but yeah this is basically inspired by a bunch of different churches I saw on google I just googled like cathedral or church or like detailed church whatever I did it's not like one specific church I took like elements from a bunch of different ones and then I made my own church um I really like the front of it with the two like towers almost on the side and then the uh, triangle roof in the middle and then I also wanted to have like a cool tower thing in the back that's more like a round shape it's not round because you can't build round walls in the sims but it's kind of like um like an octagon or something it's really really cool I don't know I just think it turned out so nice and it's quite detailed as well I went crazy with all the detailing I tried so many different things and really really happy with the end result like I started building this as just like a church but then I realized this would mostly be used as a wedding location in your game so I did do the interior like totally designed for sims weddings you can take out there's a bunch of tables take those out take out the wedding arch and you're good to go make like an altar and you have a church if you want to do that instead but I put everything there that this would be ready to get have like be a place for your sims to get married at because I don't know I'm always looking for cool new uh wedding venues for my sims I've actually built one wedding venue before I did like um what is it called a woodland wedding and I built like this old barn that had like the dance floor and then the wedding was like outside in the woods with a bunch of fairy lights and it was super super pretty there was like candles everywhere and that's like almost the kind of wedding I might want to have in the future but this time we're going completely different more traditional this wedding is in a beautiful beautiful old church definitely a renovated church but this building is very old I think like the style that I was inspired by is <laughs> very very old but it looks absolutely stunning I love these arches that I used here and I love that I did like a square on the bottom and then this octagon on top so it's like a square and then a round tower and then I'm using the round um, roof as well that we got a while back in an update and using a lot of fencing around as well I think this fence is from vampires I used a bunch of different packs for this I really just wanted to go all out and use like everything that I could and then as you can see I'm adding a bunch of details I actually go back and remove all these like really pointy these things I have no idea what they're called but they're like I'm gonna call them like pointy roof details whatever I removed them because I found a better one in it was in like sculptures or something it's not meant for roofs I don't know what it's meant for but it was more of like a round top it didn't look as pointy so I'll actually go back and change all of them I think you might see some of that at some point but yeah and then I'm using this I think this wallpaper might also be from vampires where is it from it's from somewhere but it's like a really nice brick and I decided to use it everywhere and then since it's almost white I wanted to do like a contrast with a darker roof but then for the dome up top um, I actually used the glass roof on the really really detailed one I thought it looked so stunning like I didn't plan on doing it and I, and I saw it and I was like okay I'll try it 
and it looked so good and it, I don't know I felt like it definitely suited this whole cathedral super well so I love the glass dome right on top you can't actually go up there to these like higher floors you can go to the first floor and second floor but then when you go up, up above that your sims can't actually go there it's purely decorational and then for the side I definitely wanted to add some more details so we're using a lot of uh, columns or pillars in this I think I used like three different ones from all different kinds of packs and I did make an exit on both sides as well I figured that would be useful I was really struggling with the front door to the church because I wanted it to have like this grand entrance with a huge double door but all the like really nice double doors were three wide and I needed it to be a two wide door because otherwise it wouldn't uh, like fit there symmetrically right in the middle and I couldn't make the floors wider because then the octagon on top wouldn't be centered so I had to go for a two wide door and I could not find one that was like very grand and beautiful and I don't know like a really big door so I'm using this one. I honestly don't know if it suits a church at all but it was like my best option and I did like that it had like an arch shape it was round so that's what we're going with, but it definitely wasn't like my first choice, but it was the one that fit the build the best. And then for windows, I'm using a lot of windows from Strangerville actually, because they have these gorgeous windows that I thought were perfect for a church. So most of the windows are from there. I'm using a couple from... I don't know, there's these other like arched windows. I think they might be from Get Together or something. That in white color, I use them at the back. And then here I actually changed on the second floor. You can see like really big windows. It's actually a double door, but I'm using it as a window because you can't enter that room anyway. I think that one is from uh, Get Famous. I thought it looked really, really pretty. And then off camera, I played around with some plants and stuff. And I figured these little uh, flower boxes by the windows looked super, super pretty. It kind of just added more more detailing to the church and that's where the wedding vibe started to really come in with all the flowers and pretty decorations so I really love the flower boxes I feel like they really added a lot I also experimented with adding fountains to the sides of the cathedral but then I decided I wanted to add a big fountain right in the middle, in the front. I was just like, yes, this is the perfect spot for a fountain. I don't know if it really is, considering you can't walk directly to the door. You have to go around the fountain. But I felt the fountains at the back would have been way too much fountain in one build. So I took those out and I added pathways to the back instead. I actually do end up making the porch or the patio a lot bigger for this build because I did end up putting the tables for the wedding guests outside on the patio. So I do pull that out and then I align the foundation with these flower boxes. They are probably from Get Together, I wanna say. But I really like that they were white wood with white flowers. I think I used some other colored flowers as well, but I uh, line the entire foundation with them at some point and I'm adding some street lights as well. These ones were really, really pretty. And I'm just adding like a bunch of detailing. There's a bunch of benches outside um i'm using these like what are they called just basic benches that i think are from romantic garden stuff back and then i'm using different white benches on the side and then in the front where we have this, like huge empty area around the fountain i'm using this different bench making this whole arrangement you'll see it in a little bit i forget where it's from I want to say it's from Get Famous or Seasons, but it's this different shaped bench and I made these like whole seating areas that are supposed to look kind of pretty um, out of them and I like them, but I don't know. I really didn't want to add too much like stuff out here to the yard because like, I don't know, I just wanted it to look like grand and I wanted you to really focus on the church. I was thinking of doing like a garden up front, sorry, I just smacked my water bottle. I was thinking of doing gardens on both sides of the fountain, but I just feel like it was gonna be a little bit too much, so I made these little seating arrangements instead. Here you can see me adding all these benches. Here is the one I was talking about. I did not see where it was from. I'm trying to see when, it, when it's going so quickly. Oh, it's from Cats and Dogs, what? Is it? Okay, apparently that's where we got them from. All right, so a while ago we got them. 
<laughs> we've gotten a couple of new ones like every expansion since but they're from cats and dogs and then use the cute little flowers to surround the fountain i thought it would add a little bit of something since i didn't do the actual gardens and then inside i don't know it's like quite a big build but the inside didn't feel that big because i wanted to make the whole like church what is it called? I don't go to church. I don't know these terms specifically in English. I might know them in Finnish, but like this like hole, I'm gonna call it the hall of the church, this area here. I looked at some images online and a lot of them had these like columns inside the church as well. And they were gorgeous. And obviously the roof is like domed in a lot of churches. You can't do that in the Sims, but they're just really, really stunning. So I tried to do something similar. Oh, and here I go changing all these pointy um, details to these less pointy ones because I thought they looked so much better. But yeah, inside I added columns and then I added a thing that goes between the columns. Again, I don't know what it's called, but I decided to go with white and gold for the inside for the wedding theme. And then I'm adding these benches, obviously that you need in a church. There's a lot of seating, so. I found these benches that I think are from Get Together and I thought, I don't know why, but they were definitely giving me a church vibe. So these ones, I am using them all around so your wedding um, guest can be seated here as well. But yeah, like I said, you can take out the wedding arch and make an altar back there if you wanna use this just as a church for like a story or whatever you're doing. And then I did add this um, cake table, what do you wanna call it? I don't know, but you know, that little table there where you can put your wedding cake, I added it inside and I experienced with putting these tables in here as well. And I just felt like it was a little bit too much and maybe in like the church hall, you shouldn't have that there. So I do move them outside. And then I wanted to add this piano here because I wanted there to be a place for the musician to play the piano and it would be like really, really pretty. And I found the pipe organs and I figured that is something that is in churches, right? Or at least used to be. Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm really like not very educated about churches because I've never really been to church. My family is not religious, but I really like the pipe organs and they were the white and gold colors. So I added them and then as you can see, I moved the seating outside. Really, really like it out there. I did it symmetrically on the other side of the church as well. You do have the two side exits to go out to the porch or patio. I still don't know which one it's called, but whatever. And then I just added a bunch of little details. Um, I added lanterns, I added these different columns at the bottom of these um, columns, pillars. You know what I'm saying? Like I added a little what is the thing called? It's like a little, it's from the statue section, but it's just added a little bit of something to the bottom of the pillars. And then there was a bunch of empty space around the walls. I really had no idea what to put here. I was so out of ideas. I was looking through the catalog, like looking for something, anything to put there. So I ended up just putting some of these side tables with some um, statues and some of these old paintings and then just a bunch of candles. I really did not know what to do here. And then because this is a wedding venue upstairs, I added a kitchen because that is something you usually need because a lot of people forget to make the wedding cake before you start your wedding. And then you're like, oh my God, there's no wedding cake. How am I gonna have a wedding? And if it's like a pla um, a gold wedding, like you have a, you have goals for the wedding, one of them is to eat the wedding cake and then you can't leave the law and there's no way to make a cake. So I made a kitchen, you're welcome. Your caterer can go up there, make the cake, make whatever else you need and it's perfectly set up and ready for you to use and I did add ba bathrooms obviously as well. They're up here, maybe not in the most um, ideal spot, but this is where I had room for the bathroom. So there's just two, one for men and one for women. And then I had more space up here. So I just added a little area with like a mirror and some seating maybe for like the bride to be up here with her bridesmaids just before the wedding. That's kind of my thought process. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this build turned out. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, it will definitely be on the gallery if you want to download it. I'll tell you about that in a little 
little bit since I know some people tend to skip to the end of the video if they just want to see the end results. So if you want to download it, I'll tell you when we get to the screenshots so everybody can hear about it. But yeah, we're just adding the final little details. Oh my god, this was so hard on my wrists to build this. That's why I haven't built anything in so long because it's just very click heavy and I use the middle mouse button to move the camera around a lot, which definitely like hurts my wrist as well and my fingers, which <laughs> is not normal. It's because I'm uh, suffering from like a repet repetitive strain injury. But yeah, it's kind of hard. In Creative Sim, you don't need to use the middle mouse button almost at all, only for like scrolling. So it's not as hard. So I do want to do more builds. I know I haven't done a lot of them in the in the like last few months maybe, but I want to do more. And this was definitely so much fun. If you guys have other like community lot ideas or something you want me to recreate in The Sims, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do more builds like this. But here are the screenshots now. I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out so, so pretty. I don't really know what lot to put this in. I built this in Windenburg in one of the 40 times 30 lots in the upper left corner of the map, but you can put this wherever basically just make sure you have move objects on before you place this because there's a lot of stuff that I use move objects on for otherwise it will go all crazy everywhere but yeah this will be on the gallery if you want to download it you can find it under my username which is yt or under the hashtag Eliandra and it is no CC as always all of my builds are CC free and yeah if you have other ideas for builds let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this build please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and if you are new here consider subscribing as well I do post new sims content every week but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon hope you're having a great day and bye